Ukrainian fighters discovered the command post and radar station of the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft missile complex belonging to the invading Russian army through a drone. Later, the radar station and the anti-aircraft complex were completely destroyed by continuous fire from the HIMARS rocket launcher system. Ukrainian forces have found success with the HIMARS on the battlefield since they arrived in the early summer of 2022, using its GPS-guided rockets to target Russian sites like ammunition depots, command posts, and bridges. The weapons were also critical in helping Ukraine recapture territory around the southern Kherson region. The UK-based Royal United Services Institute wrote in an assessment last year that the HIMARS and US made M2 270 multiple launch rocket systems signaled the moment where Russia's offensive in eastern Ukraine ended and the war transitioned into a new phase. Ukrainian forces need more than just US-made Hamars rockets to blunt the increasing rate of Russian artillery fire, according to three war experts. <laughs> От него этот обзор с другой стороны. Прям вообще разнесло. Не, прям в него попало, елки там. Так, это надо ходить. Пиздец. Там тоже, блядь. Урал Десантно-штурмовая. Мощная машина. С продуктами совсем, блядь. Все выгорело. Но, увы, выведена из строя. Блять, вот в Чечне, да, вот такая, в Чечне, Афган, вообще-то техника, вообще... Вот Камикадзе добрался до машинки. Бля. Сжег машинки. Он горит, бля. Камикадзе сжег машину. Вот. И взорвалась. Батарейка лежит, вот эта фигня. Да, она лежит. Бьет, ударила по машине. О. Ребята бросили машину, бежали. From mid-May, a rather difficult situation is expected in Ukraine, including at the front the head of the main intelligence directorate, Kirill Budinov, said this in an interview with the BBC. Speaking about forecasts, we are facing a rather difficult situation in the near future, according to our assessment. But it is not catastrophic, this must also be understood. Armageddon will not happen, as many are now starting to say. But there will be problems from mid-May, he noted according to him, this also applies to the front. This is an integrated approach, because the Russians will use an integrated approach. They are carrying out a complex operation. We will not talk about this for a long time, but this will be a difficult period. Mid-May, early June, Budinov noted, when asked for clarification whether this would also apply to the internal political situation, he answered, it's about everything. Regarding previous rather positive forecasts, in particular, that the armed forces of Ukraine will soon be in Crimea, the head of intelligence said that he never regretted what he said, I never regret the past. Anything at all. The fact that sometimes the situation changes dramatically, in the end, if you are already talking about my personal words, then our units entered Crimea. 
According to Budinov, these are real-time forecasts and if something turns out a little differently, sorry, this makes its own adjustments. He also noted that he does not respond to the pessimistic forecasts of the West, in particular, that Ukraine could lose the war this year.